Hmm. I'm not sure. <clears throat> not sure if you can see me. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. What's going on, family? Decided to come on here today. I have not been on here in a while. Um, it's saying some interesting stuff. Doing my best to manage <clears throat> this live video, saying the frame rate is low. Give me a second, family. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead. So, family, I came on, I haven't been on live in, in quite some time, but I felt led as I'm going into this new chapter of my own life as we are ending of this month in the first half of the Gregorian calendar. It doesn't really matter what you subscribe to, family. Look, this we're, we are in certain paradigms, all right? We're hitting the halfway mark. We're about to enter into the next 180 days, roughly. The end of the year is here, and what I want to encourage you, and what I want to tell you and remind you is this, the time is now. The time is now. And I'm not sure where I'm going to even go with this, because I'm in one of my channeling modes. I'm just in the flow of, of, of love, really, of divine, divine energy. So, look, family, the, the time is now, and we, we must... Stop playing with the moments that we have. And I'm speaking to myself as well. We must stop playing with the time that we have. We must take these moments seriously. We don't have to be moving all the time. In fact, family, slow down. Slow down. And be more wise with the time and the energy that you are expending. Prepare. Prepare for your future. What is it that you really want? The time is now to put in the work to get to where you want to be. It is not time to put up a front it is not time to play games. It's not time to dibble dabble. It's not time to be a fence sitter. You must go all in or be all out. But do not straddle the fence. <laughs> Make a decision about where you want to be in your life. And start making those daily simple steps to move there. You don't have to rush, but you do have to be intentional and purposeful with the moments that you are taking in your day-to-day -day life. You have to be intentional with where you are investing your energy in your day-to-day -day life. This is not the time to be half-assed, to be on the fence center, to keep being undecided. If you're undecided, be out the game and take what you need so you can get clear and then hop back into the game. But don't be on the field standing. You're doing more harm to yourself and to those that are looking to you as a role model and as an example. If you don't know something, it's okay to not know. Learn. If you wanna do something, do what needs to be done to accomplish it. There is far too much potential being wasted and being siphoned by things that don't serve you. The time is now. It is now to do the work to get to where you wanna go. I know we all know the saying, 
The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second pl- the, the second best time is now. And that is what it's all about. You don't have to keep struggling in the same manner that you have been. Easier said than done. I get it. But guess what? Time passes either way. So you can either get over the obstacles that are presented to you. Or you can use them as excuses to stay where you're at. And guess what? If you stay where you're at, life is not going to get any better. And all you're going to do is say, woe is me. Stop being a victim. There's a time and place for victimhood, I promise you. And there really is. Sometimes you need to be a victim when you're at the lowest low. Because it makes you angry. It gives you a reason to move. But you can't keep holding that narrative for the rest of your life. Get over the victimhood. If you got to move into anger, be angry. Use that as motivation to keep going forward. And when you get to a better spot, let go of the anger. But we have to keep progressing. We're, We're in a very sensitive spot in time and space right now. And to be real with you, I couldn't tell you what's going to happen But I can tell you this, it is best to learn to adapt, learn how to be adaptive, learn how to be flexible, learn how to leverage what and who and what you have and who you are so that we can make this make 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 it through this this time that we're 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 entering into. And I won't even say making it through, but we can grow through these times. It is okay to struggle. It is not okay to struggle and complain about the struggle and do nothing. We have to learn to be adaptive. We must learn as a collective and as individuals to be critical thinkers. We must learn to use our imagination to see past what this physical realm may present to us. If you don't learn to do this, you will suffer. If you don't learn to adapt, you will suffer. If you don't learn to modify your behaviors and modify your approaches, you will suffer. And when you suffer, generations after you suffer because they will have to make up for your, for your actions. Because they will be the heirs of the consequences that you created. So we must take our moments right now seriously, family. Take them seriously. This is not to just beat you up. But it's to remind you that we are in a time and space where we are being attacked We are also in a time and space where we have the capabilities to heal. You get to choose what paradigm you're going to really rest in. Are you going to continually be this person that's getting attacked? Or, excuse me, are you going to choose to be the person that rises above the current situations and do and be different? The opportunities are here. All you have to do is open your eyes and get rid of the, get rid of the programming that says that you are less than, that you're not enough, that you can't do X, Y, and Z. Get rid of the crap. Get rid of the limiting beliefs. If you don't know how to do that, reach out. Reach out to me. This is what I do for. This is my job. This is my profession. Reach out to somebody, but get the help that you need. To move the needle forward in your life and stop complaining about where the needle is at because ultimately it may not be your fault that's why it's there, but it's your responsibility now. Sometimes we weren't taught things. Boo-hoo, oh well, get over it, cry, do what you need to do. And I'm not saying that to minimize your feelings, but I'm saying that to let you know that everybody, a lot of people rather, have had a rough shake in life. There's too many people that are out here that have horrible uh, uh, conditions they were raised in and are now very successful. So look, if you can do, if they can do it, you can do it. Everybody is capable. 
You don't have to get to these crazy levels. And I, I want to emphasize that you don't have to get to these crazy levels of, of financial success or whatever the case may be. Get clear on your vision. Get clear on what you want out of life. It could be simple, and that's fine. Simple is beautiful. There is no right or wrong when it comes to your vision, but make sure it is your vision, and then make it happen. Take the small, gradual steps. Keep moving forward, family. It's important. That was it, family. I love y'all. Again, like I said, it's not to beat y'all up. This is just real talk. We have to put in the work. And we have to get clear about what it is that we want out of life. As always, if you need some support, if you'd like to work on um, articulating your value, strategizing your vision, creating aligned action plans, I'm your guy. Visit Maddox Methods. That'll be in the comments below. But family, let's grow. Let's elevate. Let's expand. Let's ascend. This is Brother Coasty signing out. Peace.